when I say stop, you stop boxing. When I say break, take a step back. Keep your hands up, protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you both. Good luck. Second out. So our second contest of the night here at the O2 Arena in London. Welcome to you if you're just joining us, Chris Lloyd alongside Darren Barker and Joe Cordina at the commentary desk. Second of four contests on before the bell. Before we go live on the zone, seven o'clock. Big John Hedge is in the blue Lovely trunks shot. at Southport, just picking a straight shot down the middle. Robert Baltaro, his opponent from Braga in Portugal, in the red. And Hedges moved to 5 0 against Alexander Nagolski on the uh, Coley Seaslack undercard in February. It's been a, a positive start to the year for Mark Tibbs' stable. Johnny Fisher, another victory on the ledger in front of a, a big number of fans at Alexandra Palace at the beginning of the year. Ebony Bridges winning the IBF title against Cecilia Roman, who's fighting Ellie Scottney later on. John Hedges is learning how to fight like a big man, Darren. He is. And uh, I think he'll have success against Baltaru, who is letting his hands go. He's uh, he's certainly here to win. And that's when you find your openings, you know, Joe, when your fighters let your hands go. It's, uh, it's a lot more easier to, like I say, find the openings when you're fighting journeymen who are looking to survive. You see there, there John you coming over with that sort of long right southpaw jab. Very accurate with the shot. Rarely, rarely misses. Very, very talented fighter, John Hedges. Very patient. Picks his shots lovely. Moves well. And the size of him as well. Solid left hand down the middle. Baltaru returned to the ring in February. Winner over Santos Medrano, who shared the ring with the likes of Atif Shafiq, JJ Metcalf, Kerman Leharaga. By the way, defeated by JJ Metcalf in Bilbao last night. You've done wonders to get there and back, Darren, in uh, in 24 hours. What a, a scrap that was. Incredible. Really, really was. Oh, good backhand. Good stuff. I like it when John brings his feet in. He's naturally a counter-puncher. You can see he always looks for the counter shot over any lazy shots that the opponent might throw. If they fall over the front foot, he likes to throw that rear uppercut. But I like it when he steps in behind the double jab, throws that left hand, you see there, straight oh, down shit. the middle. Can't miss with that left hand down the centre right now, and Bataro just chasing shadows on the return. Yeah, going back to the Metcalf, the Harago really was a, a good scrap, but it was a disciplined performance from Metcalf, exactly what was needed to be, you could say, the bigger, stronger, more physical guy. John goes to work, he takes one from Bartaru there. Yeah, just back fight, the ropes. fight back well, the, the Portuguese fighter. And as you mentioned, JJ Metcalf, is he back in the mix now? Could we see a contest? And somebody like Troy Williamson, maybe Keevan Ajarko looking for a big homecoming fight himself. Plans to, to come down to 154. It's, uh, it's all happening, and for JJ Metcalf, uh, a career resurgence. For him, and there's he's, uh, somebody action from round number one. Oh, yeah, he couldn't miss with that left hand. No, he couldn't. Chris, that's what I like when he steps forward behind the one two. It was very spiteful. Bartaru took the, the sting out of the shot, sort of swaying backwards. But sitting down on his shots more, enjoying it a bit more. Looking certainly more spiteful. He's always listening. Look at that intent as Mark Tibbs has given him instructions. Quite easy. I've seen a lot of young lads when they're in the corners. They're, they're all over the, the place, you know, they're all taking in the atmosphere, etc. But when you've got that one minute at the end of the round, it's so important that you listen to your coach because they give you a, a different set of eyes, ex an experienced set of eyes that can really hold you in good stead. When the man that guided you towards the IBF title, Darren, in 2013, Joe, I know, is the man that you have every faith for, we'll do the same for you in two weeks' time. Those moments in the corner could be crucial in Cardiff, couldn't they? Yeah, of course, obviously, I, I, like I said to you beforehand, I don't watch too much of um, my opponents. I watch a little bit and let Tony do the rest. So I put my 100% my trust in Tony and what he tells me to do. Don't get me wrong, I do recap um, just before the, before the fight and have a little look, but um, I, I let Tony do all the rest. And obviously, as uh, Darren would know, 
he, he's a calm, a very calm guy in the corner. And um, for me, that's what I need um, to give great advice. Um, yeah, I think he'll guide me for the world title. Well, John Hedges has got a huge voice of, of experience and a lineage of boxing knowledge in the Tibbs family. Name in his corner as well. A man that, well, you wouldn't be surprised if these two partner up for a number of years to come and it will allow Mark Tibbs to, to really mould him into the kind of fighter that he wants him to be. And he's getting there. He's looking nice, John Hedges. And there was a, another example about me asking for John to bring his feet and he landed a lovely one too. And Bataro was leaning backwards on the shot. If he would have brought his feet in again, he could have landed that shot and really caused damage because Bataro had nowhere to go. His feet were planted. So but see John just bring his feet in a bit more, but worked so nicely on the back foot, very composed, never flustered. Like I say, a brilliant counter puncher. Worked so well behind the jab. Good variation, as you see there, mixing two hooks to the body. Do you think people can sometimes underestimate the, the toughness of fighters who've come from a K1 or, or kickboxing background? I'll never forget the, uh, the tick over fight that was booked for, for Craig Richards, our main eventer tonight, at your call, an eight rounder against Chad Sugden, who. I've watched multiple times in, in K1. Super tough man dragged him into a bit of a war, and Baltaro will won't fancy himself to win the, the technical boxing match here. But if he can make Hedges commit more than he wants to, make him throw more than he wants to, try and absorb and take the early sting out of his shots and come on strong in the second half of this contest, that's where he will believe his best chance is. But he's been pinged at long range at full extension through these first two rounds. Yeah, you bow Taru, you're in the corner. You've got to tell your man to get close. You can't be at range against John Hedges. There's only one winner there. And I'm not saying that he's going to win the contest if he gets up close, but you nullify the, those advantages that Hedges has. Get close, get on the chest and try and work away. At this range, there's only one winner. Yeah, he's just, he's just getting pinged with a jab. Standing, uh, standing back and fall back and up. Taking these shots so well so far, though. Bataru, how much longer can he, he do that for? Hedges keeping things long. Puts the shots together just to close out a very good and dominant second round. He's put the Portuguese fighter into the corner. Just looking for something else. Just shovels a bolo into the, the midsection there. Just catches Bataru on the belt. Nice punctuation on a really good round there for John Hedges. That, that's what I want to see more of. Like, I don't want him to do anything silly. I don't want to make any silly, you know, stupid mistakes by rushing forward. But he's a different fighter when he gets busy like that. He sets everything up with a jab, but when he senses there's an opening and he goes through the gears, he really, really is a good fighter to watch. You know, we're talking about the entertainment business here. He's a, he's a very cute, clever boxer. But people buy tickets, they want to see all action. And he's got it in his locker, so I like it when I see that bit of spite from John Hedges. The jab there, the most important shot in boxing. He could do that all night long, but people here, they want to see a bit of fire. And we were speaking to John at the media workout, and he was buzzing to get that stoppage. I've no doubt he'd love to follow that up with another stoppage. And the way he ended that last round was, was, was fantastic. He's been working with uh, SNC coach Sonny Cannon. And he does the, the SNC for all of Mark Tibbs' fighters and uh, definitely a, a physical improvement. Yeah. Power of the, the shots, he's comparing this to his debut about 18 months ago, and he's a vast improvement in the man in blue. But Robert Bataru, tough, tough man himself, returned to the ring after a couple of years out. So, what a fantastic feeling it was to get back to action. He loves fighting. Whether it's boxing, kickboxing, K1, he's all about this game. He's taking clean letters so far and taking it well. And it is a range war at present, and Hedges is in control of it. Baltaro just gets close, and Hedges ties him up. He's always thinking, isn't he? John Hedges, always waiting for that one mistake from the opponent. Moves his feet so well out of range, slides out because he's got those long arms, always able to find the counter. You see the feints as well, trying to drive the lead, this is good, looks spiteful. Just a little warning sign, shots coming back from yep. Baltari though. He's falling in a little bit. Like we were going back to them feints you were saying earlier, Darren. Um, Tyson Fury, the best at it, just jittering. I think he was... Uh, that's what John was just doing then, and he was making um, making him think. 
Yeah, he draw out the lead, didn't he? And mm. off he went to work. Oh, good shot. So this is where I'm saying, bring your feet in again. Lovely one-two there. Beautiful eye-catching shots, but he could really do some damage with another step in and another one-two. Boxing nicely, though. Very composed, smooth rhythm. And these are these are what you describe as eye-catching single shots from, from Hedges. That left hand down the middle rocks Baltari right back onto his heels, physically sends him back. Though he doesn't look hurt at any point. There is an important distinction to, to be made there. He's taken these well. And if at any point he feels the sting go out of these shots or go again. senses that Hedges maybe he is waning, he will press oh, on the shot. And, shot. Left hand mm -hmm. lands, and down goes Robert Baltaro. A spiteful oh, backhand from John Hedges, surely that's all she wrote for him. It is. And well, Darren, we talked about the stoppage last time out. The referee had to intervene, but there was absolutely no qualms about that one dropped him onto the seat of his trunks a stunning left hand from john hedges and that is the kind of stoppage that he has been exactly. looking for so far. crept in with a feed through the one two as Bartarov was in the neutral corner lovely shot so accurate when he lets it go he's got so much range and when you get full leverage when you're carrying that sort of reach takes the left hook first but he's got him exactly where he wants it he can't step out of range lovely what? Straight down the middle, he lands a jab, lands the uh, left hand, so spiteful. Look, needs to get his right hand up when he throws the, the left to the body, but he'll be over the moon with that. Absolutely buzzing with another follow-up stoppage. And you're starting to see that maturity come, aren't you? You know, you're starting to see, I wouldn't say that necessarily you needed that many improvements, but he's adding more to his game. He went through the gears, and that was a beautiful one-two straight down the middle. Well, what a response after just getting clipped on the way in. He seemed to enjoy that little exchange. Bautaru, win or lose, just loves to fight. And, uh, well, just hit a, a brief moment where he, he maybe thought he'd caught him with something significant. Hedges snuffed out. Any sense of hope with a big left hand down the middle. Mark Tibbs will be very, very pleased. And of course, the legend that is Jimmy Tibbs on the left, who's taken some of the best of British over the years. Have they got another young star on their hands? A career best performance from John Hedges so far. Let's head over to David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Lee Emery calls a halt to this contest. The official time of this stoppage, two minutes and 24 seconds of round number three. Your winner by knockout, he's still undefeated, the gentleman, John J. Edges. So there we have it, John Hedges, a sick career victory. Have a look at some of the, uh, the highlights as he celebrates in the ring with Mark Tibbs. He'll be very pleased with the development of his young charge. And when he took control of this contest from the very start. Didn't yeah, he? look, if you, you might, Mark Tibbs, he'd be so excited to, to work and continue to work with John Hedges because there's an awful